I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on annuities. The question here is, Rita has plans to retire and in doing so, she will purchase a dollar five hundred thousand annuity which earns 6.5% per annum compounded monthly. How much money will she be able to withdraw at the end of every three months if the payments are to last for 20 years. So that's the question for you. Now, in this case, you have to first figure out whether it is a case of present annuity or of future annuity, right? That's very important to understand. Now, when we say that Rita has plans to retire and in doing so, she will purchase 500,000 annuity which earns that much compounded monthly, right? So, so basically, this is what she's going to do now. Since she is going to do this now, well, we understand that this is a case of present value annuity, right? So, so this is present value annuity. So let's write down the formula for present value annuity and then continue. So it is regular payments times one minus 1 plus i to the power of minus n divided by i, right? So that's the formula which we are going to use. So that, this is the first step to understand whether it is a future or a present annuity case, right? Now, how much money will she be able to withdraw at the end of every three months? So it is quarterly. So it is quarter every three months if the payments last for 20 years so it is quarter so in a year four times means four times a year so when we say 20 years so 20 years translate to what 20 years means 20 times 4 so that is 80 right so the n value is 80 for us so we say n equals to 80. You get the idea, right? So n is 80. We need to find r because how much she can withdraw. Now let's look into the interest rate i. Now rate of interest is given to us as 6.5 percent per annum. So we have to find effective rate of interest for the quarter. So it is 6.5 divided by 100 to make it decimals. Four, so 400. So that becomes the interest rate, right? So let's calculate this interest rate also. So it is 6.5 divided by 400. That gives us uh, in decimals. Let's write down. It is equals to 0 0.01625. Okay. So that is the interest rate for us. And we know the present value. Present value is 500,000, right? So 500,000. Now, we know these values except for R, so we can calculate R. Now we can calculate what R is. So let's substitute these values in the formula and do the calculation. You can also pause the video at this stage, answer and then check my solution, right? So let's write down all these values. 500,000 is the present value. So we have 500,000 equals to R times 1 minus 1 plus this value 0 0.01625 to the power of minus n is 80 80 divided by i which is 0 0.01625 correct so from here you can find what r is so r is equals to 500 thousand times 0 0.01625 divided by 1 minus I can write this as 1.01625 to the power of minus 80 correct so that becomes the value of R so we can always use the calculator to figure this out so we have 500 thousand times 0 0.01 625 equals to and we are going to divide by all this so i'll put this in brackets 1 minus 1.1 1 i'm sorry uh, 
0 1 6 2 5 to the power of minus 80 minus 80 right so bracket close equals to so we get a value of r which is 11 212.99 right so which we can round to 11 213 is it okay right. so 11,213 so the answer is regular payments will be r equals to in dollars 11,213 right anyway, so that is how we could solve it so major thing is to understand whether this is a case of present value entity or a future value then you are right using the right formula to get the right result i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best